name is Angeline Turin and I am working for the Cycling Anti-Doping Foundation. I am here to organize and uh, supervise the anti-doping testing program. Let me explain you how a test is conducted. So once we do the selection, we write it on uh, this piece of paper, which will be posted at the finish line. Then the rider, once he finishes the race, will be notified by a chaperone. The chaperone is notifying and is staying with the rider until the end of the procedure. Once the rider is notified, that's where he is going um, to stay until he's ready to provide a sample. He will come to the doping control station and meet our doping control officer. Then the rider will choose one collection vessel and he will go to the toilet with a witness of the same gender. When he comes back with uh, his vessel full, he will have to choose one urine kit to put uh, his sample in it. Once the rider is back with his full vessel and his kit chosen, the DCO will explain him how he has to, uh, to do and she will fill the paperwork uh, regarding the control. Once the procedure is over, the samples are stored in a fridge and sent to the laboratory afterwards for analysis. Hi, I am Monica Santini, CEO of Santini Maglifico Sportivo. We are in Richmond during the World Championships 2015. We are a 50 years old company and for the last 25 years we've been producing for the UCI the rainbow jerseys. After 25 years of producing the rainbow colors we still feel absolutely very proud every time that we can put one of our jerseys on a champion, a world champion. So I hope that this is going to last again for another 25 years. I've come because I'm a cycling fan since uh, Greg LeMond won this first tour. And it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to uh, be able to see some of the uh, top pros. I'm proud that we're able here here in Richmond and the Commonwealth of Virginia to be able to host, host this event and show off to the world how great our state is, how great the community is, and how warm the southern hospitality can be. Um, I'm hoping that the world's come back to the states uh, after this, and I hope that cycling takes foothold even more so here in the states.